Hey, revolting children. Oh, I mean, hey, fifth graders. <laughs> um, how are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Uh, had a great day with you all today. Cannot wait for another great day tomorrow. Uh, our learning target is transferring um, from lesson 13 into lesson 14. <coughs> we are going to be um, now dealing with some more complex expressions, but we're going to still use that same formula. Um, unpack, convert, solve, U, C, S, but we're just going to apply this um, idea to some more complicated numbers. Are we scared? No? Can we handle it? Uh, yeah. Are you ready? Let's go. Here we go. Lesson 14. It's happening. L. 14. 11. Holy moly. 7, 18. It's all happening so quickly. Fasten your seatbelts. Here we're going to convert centimeters to meters. Here we are going to use that amazing strategy that we all know and love as U C S. Unpack. Convert. And solve. Three steps every time. Here, this first one is set up in three neat lines for us. Um, cool, I'm so excited to use that. Before we get going though, we need to understand the relationship between the units that, are we, that we are being asked to convert to. So we're starting with centimeters and we need to transfer centimeters into meters. Really, really important to understand and remember that there are 100 centimeters in one meter. Consider the root word here, you guys, cent. You guys know that there are 100 cents in one dollar. Same relationship here. There are 100 centimeters in one meter. If you're holding a meter stick, you're also holding 100 centimeters. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our U. Let's go ahead and unpack. We're being given 0 0.920 centimeters, and we're just going to unpack that. So, uh, 0.9, was there a decimal point there? No, there was no decimal point there. I put the decimal point there. Silly Miss C. 920 centimeters, that's what we're unpacking. So, let's go ahead and unpack it. 920 centimeters is equal to 920 copies of multiplication sign equals this in words. Multiplication means copies of one centimeter. Okay, great. Next, we're going into our convert line. We're just going to go ahead and drop this 920 down. Don't overthink it. Just bring big girl on down. Come on down, 920. Okay, great. Now we're going to do this conversion factor. Here is where we're really going to have to think criti critically. Um, let's do this in another color. This one centimeter and this blank meters have to be tilt your heads to the right they have to be equal to one another one centimeter versus one meter if there are a hundred centimeters that live in one meter and if we're only holding one centimeter are we holding a full meter no you guys we are holding one hundredth of a meter. One centimeter is equal to one hundredth of a meter because my friends in our one meter, this is a meter stick, not proportional of course, within one meter lives one hundred centimeters. So if we were to isolate just one centimeter, one centimeter, that's equal to a tiny fraction of a meter, one hundredth of a meter. Because there are 100 centimeters, I'm not going to draw 100 lines, but there are 100 tick, 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 centimeters that live inside that meter stick. Okay, so we've done that converting. Now we need to solve. So what we're looking at is 920 times 100. Let's think about our friend, the place value chart, and let's look at um, 
our decimal points. So this place value right here, I'm trying to make this bigger, is one tenth. This place value is one hundredth. You guys know that we can rewrite 0.1 or one tenth as a fraction. Think about when we did this in expanded form. Also recall the fact that we can write one hundredth as a fraction. Okay, so if we're multiplying 920 times one hundredth, we can also consider the same expression as 920 times one hundredth. Do we know how to multiply a number by a decimal? Uh, yep, yes we do. We've been working really hard on that, Mrs. C. Okay. So I would like to do is go ahead and multiply our whole number by a fraction. Um, this is getting a little, little crowded. So let's see if I can clean this up a little bit. Do, 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 do. I'm just gonna make some space. Um, because things are, I'll erase this, um, think that my eyes are just having a hard time understanding what's going on here. Okay, cool. So what I would like for you guys to do, or what I would like for you guys to watch me do, and then we'll practice this together tomorrow, is multiply 920, I'm just rewriting step two here, by one hundredth. So what we're going to do first is multiply whatever we have upstairs. 920 times 1. 920 times 1. And then we're going to see what's going on downstairs, which is we have a 100 hanging out. Let's think about 920 times 1. Well, 920 times 1 is 920. That is over 100. Remember, you guys, the fact that we've talked about the fact that the fraction bar can be replaced with a decimal sign? 920 over 100 is equal to 920 divided by 100. Any number that is in fraction form can be rewritten in as a division expression because this fraction bar can be replaced with a division symbol. Can you guys do 920 di divided by 100 pretty quickly? Yes, we can, as a matter of fact, Mrs. C. We've been working really hard on that. Let's put 920 on our place value chart. And let's think about what happens when we divide a number by a power of 10. This number happens to have two zeros in it. Um, so if we're going to divide a number by something that has two zeros in it, it means each of these digits are going to shift to the right two place values. So let's go ahead and do that. Zero, you're coming with me. One, two, here's your new home. Two, this way please. One, two, we have you there. And then nine, one, two. 920 divided by 100, my friends, is 9.2, which means that we will find 9.2 meters in 920 centimeters. Does that make sense? Let's check in with our just pure logic. If I'm holding one meter stick, I'm holding 100 centimeters. If I'm holding nine and a little bit more meter sticks, that makes sense. I'll be holding 900 plus a little bit more centimeters. Cool, I know that was a lot. If this went too quickly and it went over your head, pause and think about it, or pause and watch this over. I'm going to do a few more problems here. Um, and I know, I know that this is very complex, but you guys are ready for this. You've been working so hard towards uh, more challenging problems like these. I'm going to do a couple more here and then uh, we will just focus on practicing this all too much. Add another problem here. Uh, we don't have the scaffolding or the support uh, in this problem as far as like blank uh, blank spaces that we just fill in. So I set up our one, two, three steps and then I just made a little note over here about our three steps. First step, unpack. 
then we convert, then we solve. So let's go ahead and see what we have here. A jug of syrup holds 12 cups. Convert 12 cups to pints. Okay, very important information. Um, first, before we begin, is our conversion factor. Many of you may know, if you don't, that's okay. I'm gonna lay this down here, uh, that we find two cups in one pint, okay? So that's, this is our conversion factor. This is really important information that we need before we can even begin any of our three steps. So let's go ahead and start with our first step and unpack what we've been given. We've been given 12 cups, okay? So that will look like this, 12 cups, and just unpack what that means, equals 12 copies of one cup. Okay, great, I love that step. It's very, very straightforward. Our next step, we are going to take this number 12 and we're gonna drop it down. Now we're going to think about our conversion. So 12 copies of, we are converting here cups to pints. So we started with cups. We are converting cups to pints. So whatever I put in this blank, tilt your head to the right, has to be equal to one cup. So how many pints are equal to one cup? Two cups are equal to one pint. If I have one cup, how many pints do I have? Well, I actually have one half of a pint. Two cups equals one pint. One cup is equal to one half of a pint. Okay, cool. Now we just need to solve. <coughs> um, let's rewrite our expression in our solving stage. We have 12 times one half. Upstairs, we're looking at 12 times one. Downstairs, we have a two. You guys remember this fraction bar can always be rewritten as division. So what this actually means, my friends, is, well, 12 times one is 12. So we have 12 over two, or we have 12 divided by two. 12 over two, we can replace that fraction bar with a division sign, 12 divided by two, is equal to six. So as it turns out, if we have 12 cups, what we're actually left with, as far as the syrup goes, is six pints. Very interesting. Okay, buddies, uh, one last one here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we are still doing you C, S, conversion method. The length of the diving board is 378 centimeters. What is its length in meters? Recall that 100 centimeters lives inside of one meter. Let's go ahead and set this up. Uh, unpack. First, we have 378 centimeters is equal to, hopefully this is sounding familiar, 378 copies of one centimeter we have unpacked. Now, second level, we're going to bring down our 378 because this is what we are given. This is where the conversion factor comes in, my friends. Here we are uh, in this problem, we're converting from centimeters to meters. So we have our centimeters here and we're going to introduce our meters. Tilt your head to the side, recall that this, oh, low battery. Um, 2%, oh my goodness, um, one, one centimeter has to be equal to how many meters? Keep in mind, we are not in lesson 13 anymore. Zoiks, we are in lesson 14. <clears throat> and this is going to take some thought. We've looked at a problem like this already, and I want you to think about a meter stick, and I want you to think about... Uh, the idea of stacking multiple meter sticks on top of one another and how many centimeters live inside of one meter. Well, we know 100 centimeters live inside of one meter. So if I have, <coughs> oh, 
isolate it. One. <coughs> oh, so sorry, you guys. If I've isolated one centimeter, do I have a whole meter? I do not. What I have is one hundredth of a meter. One centimeter, tilt your head to the right, is equal to one hundredth of a meter. Let's rewrite that expression. So we're looking at 378 times 1 over 100. <coughs> Let's go into step 3, you guys, where we solve. And let's think about this expression. We are looking at 378 times 1 upstairs. <coughs> Excuse me. Downstairs, we have... 100. This is equal to 378 times 1 is equal to 378 over 100. We've talked about the fact that a fraction bar can be replaced with a division symbol. So 378, this is my division symbol, over 100 is equal to 378 divided by 100. I'm thinking that a lot of you can do this in your head, but I will go ahead and show you uh, this magic on the place value chart. <coughs> My goodness. We have 378, and we are dividing by 100, which means these digits are going to shift to the right to place values. So 8, 1, 2 will be here. 7 will come 1, 2 right here. And then three, one, two hops, will end up right here. So 378 divided by 100, wow, is equal to 3.78. 378 centimeters is equal to 3.78 meters. And check in with your logic. That should make sense. Our secret word, friends, is going to be <coughs> um, what color is this last problem? No, that's not a good one. Forget that. Our final, uh, our secret word for lesson 14, my friends, is going to be um, this term. I've talked about... this relationship. I've also talked about the fact before we um, evaluate anything, before we get into the problem, we have to consider this, which is called our conversion factor. If you do not know or understand the relationship between the units that you are converting in this problem at centimeters versus meters, we refer to that relationship here as our conversion factor. Without that, the problem will be impossible. So, our secret word for lesson 14 is this conversion factor, which is very important in any conversion problem. It's the information that we come to the problem with. And if you don't have all of these conversion factors memorized, we will continue to work on them. Um, so again, secret word is right here. I hope you guys have a fabulous uh, rest of the afternoon, and I look forward to seeing you guys all.